Hey YouTube, it's your boy Elry F and today we're going to be installing RGB lighting on the back of my television. It's a little project I've been planning for a while and today we're finally going to take care of that project. Um, I'm going to be using a brand called Unpopular. It's a weird name but it's a pretty decent quality RGB lights. I found these on Amazon for less than 15 bucks. So it's a budget build. So sit back, relax. And let's get into this thing. No. All right, welcome back, guys. And um, this is the actual lighting kit that I will be installing on the TV. But first thing I got to do, I got to take this bad boy down. And it's not going to be any easy feat because it's pretty big. Uh, so y'all hang in with me. I'll be right back. All right, now I... I got the television down and I got it laid out on my couch the biggest surface that I could find so I could put the television down flat without damaging it and um, as you can see here these are the locations that on this particular TV you could plug this um, lighting kit into this is one USB port here two and three I'm gonna be using USB port one right here off to the side so um, I'm gonna open up this um, LED lighting kit and let y'all see what's in the box all right, what's in the box right here is a um, remote control, um, little package here with the lighting here on this. Ooh, wow, that would have been an unfortunate event. Um, the spool with all the lighting wrapped around it, the um, USB connection cable that you would actually plug into your body, back of your television to power the whole lighting system, and. And this is the infrared um, controller light that the um, remote responds to in order to turn the light on and off. So um, let's pop this thing on and see how it goes. It, so I, this particular one comes in four sections. So here's one section and they're connected by these little pins right here. I don't know if you can see that well. That little pin connector, and you just plug it right into the little sections. Yeah, uh, pop it apart. So this particular section right here would probably go right here on the television, because this is where the connect connections at. So it will probably sit somewhere here. Get the next section. Plug that up. Set it. I'm just mock dry fitting it right now. Get the next section. This will be somewhere over here. And this last section. That's the whole spool. It would go somewhere around here. Alright. So you make sure you have your stuff laid out pretty well before you make your connections. So I'm gonna center that. All right, so I'm now I'm um, gonna connect each piece, have the mock set out how I want it. So I'm gonna center everything where I want it. I'm gonna put this around about here. This one about there. And I'm gonna make the connections. All right, so. So those will be the first one I connect. So I'm gonna pull off the strips. Infrared light, close to the USB port.
lay out my second piece. Pretty simple. It's a little crooked here, but I'm not worried about it. <laughs> and I already made the connection to the USB port, so I don't have to worry about that again. So all I got left to do is um put this bad boy on back on the all right, wall. Guys, so I decided to test it a little bit before I put it back up there. As you can see. The lights are working great and you might try to test it before you put it back on your wall because if the lights don't work and you already put it back on the wall, wall now it's time to struggle and get it back down in order to take the stuff back off so it's a good idea to always test first colors coming through real good let's see off on perfect so that's good to go so let's get this bad boy back on the wall Alright, so I got the TV back up on the wall. Right now it's updating. And I do have the, the lights on. But as you can see, it's broad daylight. I got the blinds open and everything. So you can really see the, um, the aura from the um, LED lights. You can see a little bit up there, but there's not anything to really talk about. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to wait until it gets darker and try this out. Alright, so see y'all. So alright guys, now the daylight is gone. You can see the light much better. You can see the faint glow around the television. I didn't want mine real bright as you as you see most people doing. I wanted mine just to be faint. So at times when the TV screen get dark, you'll see it a lot better. And a good tip for when you're doing this is the closer you put the lights to the edge, the brighter you can make it around the um, television. But I didn't want to do that. That's why I set it so close to the center bracket on my television to make sure that I wouldn't have a whole lot of light bleeding out all around the television while I'm watching it. That's the red right there. Pretty faint. Let me try to bump it up a little bit. The red, the green, the blue, and um, what else they got here? That's just the white light. Alright, so um, that's about it for this little demonstration. I want to thank you guys for joining me. Remember to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Woo!